So the whole idea of the stimulation of this conversation, as I said humbly, where I feel to, where it started, this conversation started, where I was grateful for where I am, especially during the time of job insecurity, because where people are not receiving employment and or um, uh, government uh, stimulus payments are running short and people are searching for jobs, it's apparent that based upon this system economically that we live in, we have to make money. And to me, I'm grateful, and this is where we're going or at what we are, where we are at this point, and it could be a short-term or a long-term situation, but where we're seeking a job, but now we have to turn that into now becoming someone that knows what they like to do, knows what they're good at, knows what people are need, and knows what people are willing to and, and knows what people are willing to pay them for. And what I mean by that is, yes, you are a skilled expert in this, but are you able to package yourself as someone that can now not just look for a job, but possibly be self-employed to where you're now reaching out to a wider net worldwide to um, to 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 find a contract, to find employment. And you could you could do that and expand your job search if you need to. That's the mindset we have to be on. It has to be now. How do I expand my job search? Or how do I position myself to become self-employed to where now the, the, uh, the businesses or the, uh, 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 or the consumer is looking for me? It's almost a shift of mind. And we're at a point now where one has to go there because there's the certain dependencies. And I'm speaking for myself as well. Certain dis- dependencies and securities that are there that, have, that were there that apparently are not here at this time. And we pray and give thanks in advance for that coming soon. But at this time, it's something that we have to wrap our minds around. And I say that only I'm, because I'm watching a traditional commercial uh, media news outlet and their, the conversation is, hey, um, the job seeker now is losing their unemployment check. And so now what are you going to do to survive? And that's a real question for me. And the first thing I thought was, wow, I'm so fortunate to at least been self-employment minded as I'm not going to wood because every day is different. It's about sustaining and scaling your business to secure those clientele to be able to have a sustainable business that the financial institutions respect to increase your loans or to give you credit on um, uh, uh, financial lines or credit or whatever have you. But at the end of the day, at least you have to have the, the bottom line is have the mindset now of being self-employed, being a master of your skills being a master of your craft and knowing what you like to do, what you're good at, what people need and what people are willing to pay you for. And that's where the work, what people need, we have to wrap our minds around because we were all one skilled in a particular particular industry and sector. But guess what? Some industries and sectors, with all due respect, I say humbly peace upon them, be upon them are dying because of the change of technology, the change of times, the change of consumerism based upon the public health and natural disasters and everything else that's going on as we grow forward in this humanity of time. And so now you have to say, hey, I have to now change my skill sets to what people need. And that's something that you can do, you will do. And the faster we both all come up to that agreement, understanding we can position ourselves to be able to capture possibly a new, uh, healthier, stronger uh, pot and wealth of income, you know, and we at least hope and be optimistic that, you know, the next chapters through the challenges we go through are designed to help us grow and to have a testimony behind the test, you know, so we always pray that all things work for good if we have faith to some degree in any degree. And so I'm just making sure that I'm wrapped my head around saying, hey, I am a job seeker. Yes, because being self-employed or running a large scale business where you have employees, at the end of the day, you're self-employed, but you've now been able to master the art of making money work for you uh, by hiring strong, skilled human capital and paying them what they're worth, usually double what the industry is paying. Um, I mean, double twice what the um, you, you, you're paying twice what the industry usually pays or the market for that skilled individual um, as well. So um, you, you, you're, you're basically self-employed, but you're leveraging your resources passively to now it's bringing in passive income through passive for you earned time and technology from the people that are that are working uh on your behalf if you will if that makes sense but at the end of the day if you're doing that or even on a large or smaller scale being a one person entrepreneur you have to now take your skills find out what people need based upon and then what people need 
what are you good at and what do you like to do? So if you know people need this and within this top, this frame, you need to now find out uh, within this frame, what do I, what am I good at? Okay. And then once you find out what you're good at within that frame, then you say, okay, well, within this, what I'm good at, which ones do I actually like to do? And then you narrow it down to the ones you like to do and you can focus on one thing or as much as you can handle as far as what you would like to do. But at least you're positioning yourself to try to, as we move forward, um, try to survive. And who knows, two weeks from now, one week from now, a week, day from now, you know, we could turn around and the government says, hey, everything's good. We got, we got their money. We got everything worked out and we can keep pushing. That's what we hope. But if not, we have to talk about positioning. It first starts with the mind and being aware of the social and economic trends. Thank you for um, donating what you felt this message was worth to you by clicking the link. Thank you for sharing, posting, liking, and following the, this work, um, as well as thank you for um, continuing to have a great day, continuing to walk with verb and challenging yourself and others to do the same. Thank you for leaving your, co- your thoughts and uh, comments on uh, your feedback of what I'm saying and or if there's any topics that you'd like to discuss that's related to what we're talking about. Thanks so much. Peace and talk to you soon.